I'm applying Art Deco eyeshadow base all over the eyelid to act as a primer for my eyeshadow. This is going to keep it bright and vibrant and stop it from creasing. I'm going to be doing a spotlight effect with the eyeshadow, so that means the dark is going to be on the outer and inner corner and the light in the middle. As you can see, I'm just taking a medium golden brown into the outer corner and then I will do the same on the inner corner. I'm using Golden Earth eyeshadow with a fluffy brush. I'm then just blending that into the crease a little. With a smaller fluffy brush and a medium warm brown eyeshadow in 530, I'm just building up the intensity, so bringing it further down and making it a little darker just into those corners. And again, I'm just building up that intensity with a matte black. emphasize that spotlight effect and patting on sugar pill eyeshadow right into the center of the eye. On the lower lash line I'm using a teal mineral pencil in the lash line and the waterline just to create some color pop and intensity on that lower lash line. I'm then going to set that and blend it out with Jungle River eyeshadow. To carve out the brows a little, I'm just using my Cream Camouflage Concealer right under that brow and then I'm going to blend it out a little. For a bit of shimmer on my brown bone, I'm using Sugar Pearl Eyeshadow. This is now my favourite highlighter and I just want to smother it all over my face. To clean up any eyeshadow fall down, I'm using Art Deco Eye Makeup Remover on a little cotton swab. This is an amazing eye makeup remover, it will budge anything. And now I'm just concealing and highlighting under my eyes with my cream camouflage. I also bring this into the center of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose as an extra highlight. If you want a more detailed version of me doing highlighting and contouring, I do have a tutorial on that. I'm just going to set that concealer and my foundation with mineral pressed powder. The foundation I'm wearing is Art Deco HD foundation in number 37. I usually wear rich treatment which is a little thicker but I'm trying something lighter out for summer. and then just going to whack on a few layers of Perfect Volume Mascara. Ta! 
add a little bit of volume to my lashes, I'm using some individual false lashes, about five pieces on each eye, just to give an extra bit of bounce and fluffiness to the lash. I don't want to do a full on eyeliner because I don't want to spoil the effect of the spotlight so I'm just using a matte black eyeshadow with an angled brush on the outer and inner parts of the lash line. Since the Jungle Fever collection is all about bronzing, I'm now going to smother myself in some bronzer. Um, I'm just doing a little contouring with it and then using any excess just to bronze up my skin. taking it around my cheekbones, my forehead and temples and then just a little bit around the nose and again wherever I want it darkest is where I always start and use any excess on that brush just to blend out and make it really bronzy. I'm just going to sweep a little bit of blush along the cheeks. This is the one from the Jungle Fever collection. It's really bronzy with just a little bit of a hint of peach and pink which is perfect for the summer. As I said before, I love Sugar Pearl as a highlighter. I'm taking this down the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, across the top of the cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead just for a super glowy look. I'm adding a little splash of colour to the lips with Blazing Red from the Jungle Fever collection. It's nice and sheer so it gives you that bit of colour without it being too full on with a full on eye. And that's the finished look. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and of course share on social media. Also follow me everywhere and the beauty bomb.